This breaking news, a knock at the door in the dead of night. Rarely good news, but in this case, it actually might have saved some lives. It absolutely did. Residents helping out each other despite the smoke and flames. Everyone was able to get out of this apartment fire in Warren alive. Nick Monticelli joins us now. Uh, of course, there's concern for several of family's pets, and of course, these units appear to be a total loss. Yeah, Rhonda, good morning to you. This apartment complex is the Regency Park apart Apartments at the corner of Frazo and Hayes in the city of Warren. The inspector is walking through here right now trying to figure out exactly what happened, but those answers won't come for some time now. Now that the sun is up and the day has come, you really get a better idea of just how devastating this is as you see that there is no roof left. It burned away, collapsed into some of these homes, and these families trying to figure out what is going to be next for them. Now there was a, a viewer of ours, Michelle Westerman Hogue, who lives across the street. She took this piece of video, it's some viewer video. It really gives you an idea of just how intense the flames were as soon as we can show that video to you. It was devastating, it is devastating to see how fast that fire spread. The fire department saying that they know it started somewhere on the second floor and it got up into the attic and once it's up in the attic, it is just impossible to control, uh, and that is why these eight units are destroyed. The only thing controlling it was a firewall that stopped it and blocked it from moving to the next apartment unit over that is a part of the same building. Again, all of these residents were inside. This happened at about 3.45 or 4 o'clock in the morning as you take a look at the next piece of video here, and you see, again, this damage up close and personal. But what's uh, miraculous is that all of these residents were helping each other, neighbors from across the street, this parking lot, running across, banging on windows, people inside of this unit, pounding on doors, trying to make sure everybody would stay alive. You have no idea, especially on like a windy night kind of like this. You have no idea how long it's going to, like how quickly it's going to just spread oh, and engulf everything. I can't believe how fast that spread. They like start one area, it looked like, and the next thing you know, the whole place is on fire. So what, what do you do now? Uh, I lost everything. Uh, my journeyman's card, my license, my debit card, my phone, iPads, two guitars, uh, you know, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is we're breathing. And I don't think you can underscore that enough. The important part is that they are breathing, they are alive. A lot of people inside of these eight units, Everod and Rhonda, uh, again, that are destroyed because of fire and water and smoke. But it's amazing to see how everyone worked together and saved each other. There are some concerns about some animals. Uh, we did see one cat that literally jumped out of a window as soon as it, was, as it was broken open by the fire department. But the majority of the animals were saved as well. So all in all, uh, I guess you could call this a kind of a happy ending considering how bad it could have been, but now comes the really tough part for these families to try to figure out what do they do next, especially with all their belongings destroyed. We're live here in Warren, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. And what you hope is that they have renter's insurance because yeah. that will certainly help the situation and a reminder for everybody about the importance of renter's Absolutely. insurance. But we are thankful everyone made it out.